Hi everyone, hope you're doing really well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this video I'll be giving you my main top tips for achieving realistic tight curly fur with coloured pencils. If you'd like to join me over on my Patreon you'll be able to draw this fur study as a full length hour and a half focus tutorial where I'll be guiding you through every step of the way. You'll also get access to over 50 tutorials where you can learn a variety of professional coloured pencil techniques. So to get back to my main top tips for tight curly fur then, you want to start by outlining the shape of each curl and mapping out the shadows, shading them in with a light pressure. Remember with colour pencils you always want to work from light to dark. For this particular coloured fur, your warm grey polychromo shades are essential really. Materials wise I'm working on extra white hot pressed Fabriano Artistico paper which is my favourite paper to use for all coloured pencils and I'm going to use a mixture of um, Faber-Castell Polychromos and Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. So once you've mapped out all those curls and all those shadows surrounding them, you then want to start building your shadows up, going in with a darker coloured pencil like a warm grey 4 or a warm grey 5, but still using quite a light pressure. You don't want to go in too heavy handed straight away because you'll risk your drawing looking flat. You want to add a few subtle colours on top of these base layers as well, which will warm up the fur and act as like a subtle undertone. So the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils I've used are the French Grey 30% and the Dark Flesh 40%, the percentage just meaning how saturated the colour is. I think Polychromos and Luminance pencils work hand in hand really and they complement each other brilliantly. Um, luminance pencils are predominantly wax based so they're much softer and excellent for blending and smoothing out layers whereas polychromos being predominantly oil based are a lot more vibrant and much more of a harder pencil so they're great for creating that detail. So once you've got to a point where there's a clear contrast between the light and dark areas of fur, you can then start to work into those curls. And this is the most challenging bit I'd say, um, and what people struggle with the most. You want to change the direction of your pencil and follow the curls round whilst you're shading. Apply a harder pressure at the base of the curl where those shadows are darker, and that'll give the impression that the curl is sort of emerging from the fur underneath and immediately it'll create that sense of depth. I'd say more than anything though, the most important aspect of drawing realistic tight curly fur is to pay attention to where the light is hitting every single individual curl. You want to release your pressure when you're shading as you approach that lightest point. So you can start to build that contrast in lighting and make it more obvious which bits of fur are sort of in the foreground and which are in the background. I'd say as well you want to build up tonal value before you focus on the hair detail. You can incorporate some alternative colours and build up some more subtle colours that are being reflected onto the fur by the light. For example, I'm using the Silver Grey Luminance Pencil, which is a really pale blue tone. So once you're happy with the tonal value, you'll feel like the curls have a lot more depth to them and they're just missing the detail. So to refine those tight curls, you want to add that detail. So be delicate and light with each pencil stroke and follow the curls round. 
Curly fur is quite thick and almost springs back up when you touch it, so you want to sort of represent that texture. So really think about how it would feel. To add some wispy flyaway hairs that fall over the top of the fur, I'm using the craft knife slice tool which has a ceramic blade and using the removal technique you can literally scrape away those top few layers and pull out some of those highlights. You can literally sort of lightly scrape in fine details that you wouldn't be able to achieve with just colour pencils alone. The slice tool is perfect for those intricate and delicate details. So I hope you enjoyed this top tips video for creating realistic tight curly fur with coloured pencils. As I said at the start, you can get exclusive access to this full tutorial and over 50 more animal based coloured pencil tutorials over on my Patreon. The link is in the video description below. If you liked this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And thank you so, so much for watching.